again, it's been a while. And welcome back to those uh, lovely faces to see you again. I'm a bit in a hurry because I have a very important message today and I don't want to, you to miss or put you two minutes. <laughs> I need one hour to, to uh, really discuss this because I believe that this is really very important and it is uh, necessary for all believers to understand. Okay, what I'm saying is that we we understand for those who are new and for those who have just attended now, it's a good news that the word of God says that salvation, meaning salvation of our soul, salvation means when we die here in the physical there is a promise of salvation that we could already know now, even if you're alive. Because if someone asks you, where are you going if you die? Do you know where you're going after you die? Sometimes they, before I will answer, How would you know that you're going to heaven when you die? Because you will answer, I'm going to heaven. But, the good news is that the Bible, the Holy Word of God, provides the truth that we are able to know now where we are going while we are still alive here in the physical. We are able to identify our destination after this life, this physical life. And good news because the truth, we cannot deny the truth. We have to understand. But today, even for believers, I was surprised to understand, to know, because I was attending, I'm attending a, a Bible school or a school of theology every Tuesday, and I was surprised because these, people, these brothers, our family, the Lord, who are teaching the Word, are still... Uh, Kasi mga, ang mga, ang kanilang pong de designation, they are uh, Bachelor of Science, ah, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Theology. Ayan mm -hmm. pa rin mo yun. <laughs> Theology, I know, the Beholder. And then, Master of Divinity. So, the title itself, dapat, parang nasa langit ka na pag- Hindi divination. Right? But, surprised because some of the teachings are not really based on the truth. I mean, I was grieving to hear some of the teachings that are not aligned in the Word of God. So I was, we, me and Apostle was really talking, we could really put up an OBG Academy now. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. We are so blessed with, with, with the knowledge and understanding and the, the, the teachings that God is giving us in this in this family. So let's take an of the opportunity to understand more. Now, I'm I'm talking about we have to understand salvation as the eternal security for the believers. So when I said that even if you're still alive, you are able to understand, you're able to know that you are safe if you die. Isn't it a good news? Because even if you die, you will be confident of your of your life. Diba? Kahit pumatay ka, you're sure of your, you're secured of your eternal destination. And I believe that no one, you know, no one will, will say no to salvation. Okay? So, because there are people, there are, it's said that there are people who come or who love religion for religion's sake. You know, they, they, they are willing to be identified with Jesus in the church. That's all. But sino ba naman na who wouldn't want eternal blessing? Because this is available. The salvation is a free gift. Amen. Amen. Gift. The Bible says it's a free gift of God to those who will believe Jesus. Amen. Hindi mo kailangan ipako. Hindi mo kailangan you know, to, to beg or to, to get, it by, get it by your own effort. Salvation 
is a provision of God to mankind, to people. And it's free of charge. But there's one thing that we have to understand how to claim this, how to have this. Now, my question is, is it possible that you are attending church, you serve in the ministry, and you call yourself Christian and still be unsafe? Is it possible? Yes. Now, if it's possible, this urgency of this teaching is to identify or examine so that we will be sure. We don't want to be, uh, we don't want to live it to your own understanding or to your feelings. We want to know, we want to be sure. So that's why we have to ask, is a child of God, is a child of God who accepted Jesus, a believer of Jesus Christ, is eternally secure in, in his salvation? Do you believe in that? Na anak ng, ng Diyos is eternally secure. Amen. Yung amen ng medyo sigurado. Amen. amen. <laughs> Okay, let me call, I, I want to identify two types of, re, of religious people. I call it, one is believers and unbelievers. That's all. Wala namang, wala namang congregation name it. Because in the Bible, the judgment is already done to those who will reject Jesus. But if you believe, just John 3.16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. He gave His Son. He sacrificed His Son. He died on the cross. He died to pay the penalty. But if we reject that payment, there's no more offering left. We can no longer, we cannot crucify Him again. There's only one time, once and for all. Now, believers and unbelievers pertaining now to Jesus Christ. Is, are you a believer? Yun lang identify natin. Are you a believer or unbeliever of Jesus Christ? Because there is no religion. In the Bible, you cannot find a specific religious name. Ang tinatawag ng religion sa Bible, if you will see, in James, uh, 126, thank you. And this is the, the, the religious that God uh, is pertaining to religious religion is that those people who are doing good, not aalaga ng orphan, not aalaga ng widows, and to make himself free from the pollution of the world, meaning pollution of the system of the world. So religion is working, good works ng tao. And religion, when I say religion cannot save you, because salvation is not by your works. Salvation is the work of God. Salvation is a free gift. But sinabi ni Galo, you don't pay for it. Amen. There's no charge. So we have to get this because sayang naman. Amen. Binayangan ni Cristo, pero hindi natin naa-avail. He paid for it. And he wants all men to be saved. He wants all men to get this. May it ba dito? Okay, believers and unbelievers, how do we know, how do we get, how do, how do we avail salvation? So, ito nga yan, workers, uh, family, look at this. Hindi e, ba ito lagi ang sinasabi natin? Every time that we have a new a uh, brother or sister that will attend. Mail time instructions sa ating constitution. So for you to become a believer, for you to become a, a recipient of this free gift of salvation, you need to do these two things. Tama? First, you have to confess. When you say you have to confess, you will say it. You will speak forth. So confess with your mouth, siyempre mouth yung i-confess, na confess no? That if you confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus, number one, yung sasabihin mo, 
Hindi lang dahil napilitan ka, natakot ka doon sa uma umayat sa'yo. Even ba? Nahiya ka. But you have to understand that Jesus is Lord. Amen. When we say Lord, Lord is owner. Amen. Adonai, Lord, meaning He owns everything. Amen. Wala kang pag-aari. Kaya binibreak ng Lord ownership, mentality of ownership. Amen. Kaya ang tao, bigat na bigat pagbigay kasi akala sa Kanya. We don't own anything. So when we say, I am confessing that Jesus is Lord, I am submitting. I am acknowledging that all the things that I'm having, the benefits, the things that I'm enjoying, is just given to me by the Lord. So that's one thing you have to confess. So, and itong ikalawa, there are two things. One, you confess. Number two, you have to believe in your heart. Ito ngayon, ang medyo may issue. Why? Because you cannot see the heart. But ang requirement, believing in the heart. For us, na mga nakakakita sa physical, we cannot see what's inside the heart. The confession, we can hear it. They can say it. But believing in the heart, I believe God alone could really identify. But, we were given signs to identify. We could, we could know by, by marks, by the manifestation, mayroong binigay. So, ang sabi doon, believe in your heart that God has raised Him from the dead. Ito rin yung paniniwalaan mo. Na paniniwala, you have to believe and you have to uh, believe na. You have to <laughs> maniwala ka na namatay si Jesus. Jesus died, but He was raised up on the third day. Amen. Eh, 2,000 years ako pa ito nangyari. Yung third day. Wala na ba yun? He was alive. 2,000 years ago, on the third day, He was risen. So, hindi siya every year na mamatay. You don't laugh a bit. Isa ka rin naman, di ba? Naniniwala ka rin yun. I mean, because we don't know. But the Bible is there for us to understand. We're not despising this. It's, it's because we don't understand. But, please, don't laugh at it. Kasi hindi naman po nakakatawa. Hindi lang alam. So, pinapaalam sa atin yun, the Bible is complete and make us understand that on the third day, He rose again. And now, seated at the right hand of the Father, sabi ng Bible. So, these things you confess that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that He died. Jesus died. He was crucified. He died. But He was Amen. raised back to life. Amen. And then, the Bible continues, you will be saved. Pangako ng Bible, hindi po nagsisinungaling ang Bible. Magsinungaling na lang ang tao ang Bible hindi. Why? When it has been a promise of God, we can defend the Word of God. Amen. Sabi niya, kung sasambitin mo sa labi mo na si Jesus ay Panginoon, may ari, and the next thing is, believe in your heart that He died but He rose again. And there's many areas that you have to believe that you have to believe Him the way Bible introduces Him as who He is in the Bible. Yun ang bibiliban mo. Let me repeat that again. It's not just limited that He died, although ito na nga lang, ang hirap paniwalaan. Because not all religion, other religion, will believe na matay na buhay, hindi sila naniniwala. Some cannot declare this. I cannot say that. I don't believe that He is alive. So, bagsak. You're not a believer. So, you will be saved. It all promise you will be saved. Bakit be? Kasi hindi mo pa kinakonfirm. Hindi mo pa kinakonfess. At hindi mo pa pinapaniwala. Pero, if you do it, the Bible is assuring us you will be saved. Mamatay ka man sa physical now. Hindi ko naman hinihingi. <laughs> but, we are confident. That even if we perish in this body, we are sure and secure of our eternal destination. Amen. 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 Let's give a praise to Jesus. For saving us. Now for the heart one believes, I'm going to expound on this, but 
you have to do this things and salvation. All right. So, sabi ng ang ng scripture then kapag whoever believes the word believe tanda ito yung believing the word dito kami nagkaroon ng hindi naman debate argument for 30 minutes in the bible school hindi hindi ma hindi matapos yung ano eh, yung yung uh, tanungan about salvation and then the funny thing is that when i came out from the, the class and I was trying to explain to my classmates, see brother, this is the verses, these are the these are the, the truth. And then when we were already in the car, one guy knocked on our window in the car. He said, Then we, we asked him that my name is Brother Abby. I came from this church and I overheard you talking about salvation. If it's if you can lose it or you don't lose it. So he said, there are already three divisions in our churches because of that topic. <laughs> Why? Hindi ito maintindihan. Hindi masiguro. They are not sure of this. But the Bible, thanks God, because the Bible is complete. Today, the Lord wanted us to understand, as believers, you have to be confident of your security. Amen. But if you are unbelievers, this is your chance to understand. Whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. Hindi niya ipapahiya ang mananang palatay sa Amen. Ang security of a believer or the God's work, the part of God's work, the, 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 the salvation part, I, ipapaliwanan uh, natin, let me explain to you ano ba yung ginawa ng God? What did God do so that we will be able to really trust and be confident of what uh, he has done, he has given. So look, believing in Jesus Christ, when we believe according to who the Bible says he is, and a savior and trusting on those truth, naniniwala ka kung hindi daw sa pinaniniwalaan ng kultura o pinaniniwalaan ng sabi, but you believe because this is what the Bible tells us so. Kaya nga po, the danger of evangelism, Pastor Aboy, the danger of one-time prayer, posibleng hindi pa. Because they have to understand who He is. E nakarinig na, you will be saved. O sige, iti-declare ko na. Libre pala. But without understanding, that's invalid. Believing. Believing who He is in the Bible that gives you assurance of salvation. Believing who he is. So now, look. One thing, one verse that will give us assurance. Jesus answered and said to him, he was talking to Nicodemus. One night, Nicodemus came to him. He is a ruler. He is a Pharisee. Teachers of the law. Praise the Lord. So one night, Nicodemus came to Jesus asking him, Lord, I know you are Teacher, you are from God because only a uh, teacher can do the signs and wonders is from God. So he said to him, How can I go back inside Okay, wait, wait, wait. So this is what Jesus answered Nicodemus. He said, Jesus answered, How can in the end you Teacher, how can I enter the kingdom? So you think I'm all? You must be born. Yeah. How can we enter the kingdom? And then Jesus answered. I said, answered and said to him, Most assuredly, most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Born again is not a religion. Born again is the status of your spirit. 
Amen. Born again is may binago sa iyong espiritu. Kasi yung luma, corrupted. Amen. So it is, kaya sabi ni Nicodemus, Lord, how can we enter again the womb of our mothers? We are already big. Because we are focused on the physical. We do not understand the spiritual things. Kaya ang tao, ang hirap maniwala. Because in the, in, in the world, the system, to see is to believe, di ba? Sa Lord kasi, believe first, then you will see. Amen. So, Nicodemus was wondering, how can we enter in the second time, in the, in, the, in the tummy of our mother? And then Jesus answered, most assuredly, I say to you, inulit niyo po sa verse 5, unless one is born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Kanina, you cannot see. Now, you cannot enter without being born again by water and Spirit. And that's the Word of God. Amen. Amen. You can only believe, truly believe, when you are soaked in the Word of God. Amen. You understand the Word of God. Amen. So, now, if ang usapan, if, if the issue is that, diba, uh, let me, nak nakalimutan ko sa atin, what, what is the issue in our class? There was one verse that they, they flashed, First Gen 1 Gen 1.9. He said, God is righteous that He will cleanse you every time that you sin. If you confess it, God is righteous that He will uh, cleanse you from all unrighteousness. So, I raised the question is that, uh, how about if a brother sin? He is a born, he's a believer. He received Jesus, and then he sin. He committed sin. What happened to the salvation? And then the master of divinity. <laughs> he said he lose it. That's why you have to confess it again so that you will have it. So bars of Jesus cleansing. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't, don't laugh. We have to understand this. Let let me uh on first gen one nine. Ito ang nakalagay ko sa first gen one nine. Do you have a Bible here? If we confess our sins, so sasabihin mo ulit, Lord, hindi ko na naman na, na kaya. <laughs> Nadapa na naman ako. So, if we confess, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Ang ibig sabihin po, kapag naghambol ka, kinampes mo ito, God will forgive you and He will cleanse you from all unrighteousness. But they took this verse as losing your salvation every time you sin. Walang matitira. Paano kung namatay ka, hindi mo na confess One, one, one point, imagine. Sometimes you sin, you don't even know that you committed sin. Kasi kung hindi mo alam kung ano yung batas, paano mo malalaman ang sin? But anyway, from that verse, going back to the slides, look at this. Is your security in Jesus what He has done? He said, unless a man be born again, a believer na talagang totoo, the real one who believe in Jesus, he will be born again. Meaning that God will do something in your spirit. You will be born not of the flesh, but born of the spirit. Amen. Born of the spirit na yung taong yun. Nagkaroon ng bagong espiritu. Amen. That's why, who can unborn that? God lang ang nakapag-born again. Tao makakapag-unborn. So, kung nagkarmali ka ngayon, hindi ka na pala saved, hindi ka na born again. So, that's one point of the argument. But I'm not encouraging you to sin. <laughs> I'm just trying, mamaya yan, mamaya natin pag-uusapan yan. But this is the point. Who can unborn? What happened to your spirit? And then, another promise of the Lord. John 10, 28, And I give them, He's the one who gave you, I gave them eternal life and they shall never Amen. perish. 
neither shall anyone snatch them from my hand. Alam niyo po ang description nito? There are two verses there. Jesus is saying, My Father, ah, I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall anyone snatch them from my hand. Sabi na Jesus, walang makakaagaw nito. And if you continue the next verse, My Father, who loves us, will also no one can snatch you from my Father's hand. Dubli ang nakahawak sa iyo. Amen. No one. Jesus and the Father can no one can snatch you from their hand. That's the security. Kung totoo kang bumibili kay Jesus. This is the benefit of a real believer. Amen. Now, Everyone who is born again by the power of the Holy Spirit is saved forever. We receive the gift of eternal life. Kaya nga eternal eh, hindi ba din nawawala? Temporary life yun. If you sin, nawala yung ano mo, uh, salvation mo, so temporary yung salvation yun. Hindi yun eternal. But the Bible is saying, I gave them eternal life. Amen. Talking about the spirit. Not the flesh. The flesh sins. Oh, okay, hindi na ako putaga. Eh, ano ko lang. Now, Hebrew 10, and this is the confidence of the word of God. Look. Hebrew 10, verse 10, verse 12, verse 14, continues to make us understand what happened on the cross. What did Jesus do? He's saying there from the early verses that by the, by, uh, by, by Jesus Christ, by that will, we have been sanctified. You know the meaning of sanctified? Sanctified is sinet aside. Set apart. Hindi ka na pareho. Kaya nga, mahirap kung hindi halata. Dapat halata ka hindi pareho. By that will, we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ. Once. How many? Once. Hindi na pong siya uulitin na ipapako. Once. Kahit kung papako ka rin ng lima, hindi mo na rin tumakaan ng room. No one can change this once and for all. I am sorry, but please ask the Lord for the revelation. He said, Jesus Christ, once for all. Continue the verse, but this man talking about Jesus, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins, Forever sins. Ang ang talagang binili niya sa cross yung sin. That was the for the payment of the sins of mankind. Kaya pa nang siya the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. He said this man after he had offered one sacrifice for sins. Forever. Para sa anong sacrifice? Para sa sin. Kaya kung sin pa rin, nagkasala ka, na wala ang salvation mo, hindi niya tinapos. Dinipositohan lang tayo ni Jesus. Ikaw ang magdagpagusoy. Forever pati. Hindi mo mawala. So that's why he sat down at the right hand of the Father wala po siya doon sa cross. Wala po siya sa tomb. He's already seated at the right hand of the Father. Amen! As the Bible says, He ran, you, so ang binil niya ay sin. Kaya pag nagkasala, binayaran to. Bayadan. I'm not encouraging you. Wait now, wait up. Nakating tayo doon sa unbeliever. So, sat down at the right. Another verse, for by one offering, not many, one offering. By one offering, He has perfected forever. Hindi ka mo mang perfect, pero in your spirit, be our perfect. This is the status. Whether you like it or not, the Bible says you were perfected forever in your spirit. Amen. In your spirit. You are perfected forever those who are being sanctified. Be perfect to the Lord in the spirit. Sa physical, hindi ka talaga perfecto. But in your spirit, you have been perfected. Monday only? One month only? Forever? Forever? 
Amen. 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 Is that like forever? <laughs> forever. Why <laughs> forever be Lord? Yeah. So, so, marami pong verse. Gusto ko lang pong ito, daw ninyo kasi kapag naka-encounter kayo, baka naman ko sabi, nawawala ang salvation. Oh, 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 oh. Para tayong nabaka, oh, 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 oh. oh. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Again, eternal in Christ Jesus. Another verse, Hebrews 9, 12. Not with the blood of goats and calves, but with His own blood. Kaya namatay siya yung blood niya ibinayad. He entered the most holy place. You know, my holy place in those heaven. Once for all, having obtained. Ano ibig sabihin ng obtained? Tinapos na eh. Nakuha na, di ba? What was obtained? Eternal redemption. Niridim ka kaya hindi na naman nawawala yan. Sina nila, kawans. Niridim ka na. Babayaran ka na naman ba ulit? Hindi na po. Eternal redemption. And having been, Hebrews 5.9, having been perfected, He became the author of eternal salvation. Natatapan mo kaya tagat ngayon lang ito. Next time yung mga matatakad sa unahan. <laughs> Para makita niyo po. Makita niyo po, eternal, not temporary. Eternal, eternal life, eternal redemption, eternal salvation. Paulit-ulit na sinasabing eternal. Pag sinabing eternal, it is not bounded with time. Walang time, walang expiry ang eternal. Kaya na yung sacrifice ni Jesus, He is an, an eternal God. Pag sinabing eternal, Valid yun noon, ngayon, at bukas. Yes. Eternal, wala, hindi siya limited by, with time. <sighs> Please do not, ilang minutes pa po? 10. <laughs> 8.15 For you did not receive, and pa, For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption. Who we cry out, Abba, Father. Look, this one. <laughs> Look, ang isang inadapt na tao sa isang family, do, does he have the equal rights now of the sons? Amen. Di ba, apelyedo kuha mo na, kahit mana kuha mo na, adapted ka eh, legally adapted ka. Now, this verse is trying to tell us the moment that you believe in Jesus, God will adapt you in His family. Kaya tinatawag ka ngayon na, Born of God. Born of God is not flesh again. Born of God is born of the Spirit. Amen. So you are now in the family of God. You were transferred from darkness into light. You now belong to the family of God. Pag kasama ka na sa pamilya, kapareho ka na ng bloodline. Amen. Tama po ba? We were discussing earlier. I was, I was uh, with Burgess. And I told him, you know, Dinyar and you, if, if Dinyar do something bad, the bloodline was the bloodline ka? No. Hindi pwede kasi pamilya ka eh. Sa isang pamilya may mga ship. Hindi ko sinabi, black ship. Pero sa isang pamilya magkakaiba, different. May isang matigas sa ulo, may masunurin, pero anak pa rin. Hindi ko pwede sabihin, kahit sabihin pang hindi na kita ano, pag inanak mo yung pareho ang blood niya. Because it's a bloodline. This is what exactly happened. The moment that we live in, if we live in Jesus, we were adopted in His family and we become a member of the family of God. That's why, hindi yung pwedeng tanggalin bloodline niya ni. Amen. Doon, sa mga talagang nananampalataya to those who truly believe. So we were adopted sons into God's family, born of God. We will not be kicked out because bloodline is permanent. Amen. Bloodline is permanent. Hindi yan pwede mawala. Nagkamali lang, nawawala na ba ang ano? So yung kung talagang totoo nga ng palataya ay talagang uh, sealed or uh, may secure. Now, another another uh, confidence that we could, we could have is that we are sealed by His Spirit. Ito ang 
Kanina pinag-usapan namin. When we talk about seal, sabi ko nga, ang uh, isang, sa, sa, sa banko na lang, mga inabang, if you ask for a document without the stamp or the seal, it's not valid. Tama ba? And when it is sealed, it cannot be changed. Markado. So, the Bible says that the moment that you believe in Jesus, believing who He is, believing, trusting Him as your Savior, then automatically the proof of the Spirit's presence in this is is His operations on that heart. Amen. Kaya ito ang, this is the, the, the clue. The, if you are a real believer, may ginawa sa puso mo. Amen. Amen. Hindi sa puso. <laughs> Kasi marami pa rin sa sabi. Ano ako? Believer ako. Sa bibig. But the, the reality, if you are secured, if you are saved, the Holy Spirit has operated in, in your heart, operated in your heart, which produce produce may manifestation ng repentance ang isang nagkakasalang believer so <laughs> so naipinan like, niyo po isang manifestation ng totoong save pag nagkasalang yan hindi hindi ko hindi ko ano hindi ko na naman ano eh you have conviction you understand that it's wrong and you want it to do right gusto ko bumait pero hindi ko ba bumait Because He is your Father, you confess, Lord. You ko na naman kinaya. This is something in the heart. Nagpo-produce ito ng repentance. Kaya kung ikaw yung nagkakasala, parang wala lang, teka lang. Isip-isip mo tayo, examine your heart. Because a real believer may nararamdaman niyo. Kaya kung ano yan, Ang tawag niyan? Mamuli na. Okay. So, produce <laughs> repentance. And you will have this. The fruit of the Spirit. Magkakaroon ka ng frutas ng uh, fruit of the Spirit. Problema, hindi mo alam mo ano fruit of the Spirit. Ano yung nine fruits? Okay, my question nine, love, joy, peace, peace, peace. Oh, my problem. So, pag, pag may fruits of spirit, kahit may problema, alam mo may solution. Confident ka na kayang-kaya ni Lord. Kasi kayo, kung kami ko nagagagat ka rin ang mula ng mga nagagawa. Even if you worry and you, you know, you, 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 hindi amin ng Bible, you, you cannot add one, ano, one day in your life by worrying. So, a believer trust the Lord. That, kasi nga, the presence of us, pag believer ka, hindi naman sa namin i-delete lahat ng problema. May problema! But the good thing is that kahit may problema, malaki ang solusyon. Amen! Gabar ko man ang iyong kasalanan. Kasi laki naman ang ocean. So, the, the present, the absence of, uh, it's not about the absence of our problems or trials. There is. But if you know, if you believe in the Lord that He is the owner, sabi ko nga yung mga balang na kukumad dyan, na hindi pumunta sa mga Jews, sa mga Israelita, kung hindi pumupunta sa mga Egypto. Kung yung mga bangaw o mga balang na yan, na kukumand ng Lord, yan pa kayong problema mo. So if we trust in Him, the problem is you wanna solve it by yourself. You don't allow the Lord. That means wala kang Lord, ikaw ang Lord ng buhay mo. Tawag ka ng tawag ng Lord. Don't, you call me Lord, Lord, Lord. But you don't do what I tell you. Merong fruit of the Spirit. Conformity to God's command. Check. 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 
Conformity to God's commands and will. Check. Check. A passion for prayer and praise. Kaba ng prayer sa gabi. Kinakawasan na yung amen. Passion for prayer. Is it a burden to you to pray? Do you feel burdened when you pray? It's a delight. Examine yourself. Praising God. Is it a delight? Love for His people. Pag nakita mo ba kung ano-ano pinagsasabi mo yun? So, love, labi ka ng anak, anak na sabi na John, anak, 13. Love, the new commandment I give you, disciples. Love one another as I have loved you. Ang bigat yun, yung standard, yung love ni God. Hindi standard mo, standard ng Diyos ang dapat mong ibigay na love. Love your enemies. Wala tayong kawala. Because even enemies were commanded to love them. So, these are the works of the Spirit. Ito daw yung tinatrabaho ng Holy Spirit sa taong nananampalataya. So, at, at least may nakukuha tayong signs. That the moment that you believe in, in, in Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit takes control and works sanctifies us. And these are the some of the manifestations. So these things are the evidences. The evidences that the Holy Spirit has renewed the heart and that the Christian is sealed. Now, what do you mean by sealed? Sealed for the day of redemption. Look, 2 Corinthians 1.21. Now he establishes us with you in Christ and has anointed us his God who also has sealed us and given us the Spirit in our hearts as a guarantee. Look, you were sealed. If you are a believer, be confident na may sealed ka. Amen. Pag selyado, hindi yan mawawala. Authorized yan. Hindi yan mawawala. Selyado yan. Kung ang mga kings na sa lupa, when they sign with the, when they seal it with their ring, no one can touch them. Kaya nga po, ano eh, sa spiritual realm, ang mga sealed, meron ba niyang hilo? Kita ng demonyo. Ah! Ito. Kukuti-kutita. Kukuti-kutita ang ilaw. Now, he who was prepared as for this very thing is God, who also was given of the Spirit as a guarantee. May yung garantiya sa mga nananampasa. Ilang verses to? 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, another, Ephesians 4.3, And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, for whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. 3.4, In Him you also trusted after you heard the word of truth, that the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, having believed, kaya mag-believe ka na lang term. Hindi pwede confess lang, believe. Having believed, you were sealed. Kapag na nang palataya ko talaga, seselyuan ka. Amen. With the Holy Spirit of promise, and who is the guarantee? Pledge, deposit, may guarantee sa alam na ikaw ay kukunin niya on the day of redemption. Amen. Amen. The Bible is complete. Now, ito na ngayon, ang marks pa lang ako. Marks of a believer. Again, aside from that, ito rin po ang marks. Halos uulitin ko lang. Because it was also mentioned in Philippians 1.6, right? He who was being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Alam niyo po ba, kapag tutukang believer, sumemplang-semplang ka, hindi ka titigilan. Amen. There will always be people that will surround you na ibabalik ka sa Lord. Kung tutukang believer, na nagapak lang. Because he will complete it. He who has begun it was working will complete it. Amen. I promise the Lord. So marks of a believer, a true Christian will show through words, action, and doctrine that he follows the Lord. 
Okay. True believer confess. Ito na yung minanong ko kanina. Yung 1 John 1, 8, 9. If we say that we have no sin, so imposible na hindi ka nagkakasala. Sabi ng Bible, kung ikaw nag-claim na hindi ka nagkakasala, we deceive ourselves. Dahil nagkakasala talaga tayo while we are here. And the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, so, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Saan ito gagamitin? Hindi ito for salvation. This is for restoration of your fellowship with God. Di ba parang may kaaway ka? Kaibigan mo, nagkaaway kayo. You confess and you say, I'm wrong. It's my mistake to restore. Pero hindi nawawala ang bloodline. This is for fellowship. It's, this is not talking about salvation. Kasi kung ito, about salvation, walang maliligtas. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> po ba? Kasi nagkakasal ko, we, we, from time to time, nag, nag-fall tayo. Righteous, iwasan niyo rin yun. Kasi baka ikaw one day madapak din. Huwag kang masyado kung ano. Nakatingin ka sa iba, tingnan mo ang ginawa ng Lord. Nagpitin na yung tao. Amen. Dahil ang tao, hindi pare-pareho ang, ang, uh, ang strength. But one thing is that the finisher and author of our salvation is Jesus Christ. We focus our eyes unto Him. So, this is not for salvation, again, but for restoration of fellowship with God. Di ba pag may kasalanan ka, hindi ka makatingin? Kasi may ginawa ka. Ang lumiliit ang mundo mo, hindi ka napakadaan ko, hindi ko sa ito. Kasi may problema eh. Hindi mo matingnan. Diba? But if you talk and you confess, this is my mistake. This is also your mistake. So if you talk, so okay na naman kayo. So this is about restoration. Through believers, confess and repent. Hindi kung hindi ka nag-repent, nag-i-enjoy ka pa. Examine yourself. Hindi kita tinatakot. Sinasabi ko lang to sa Tagalog. Okay. What else? So, repentance is there. Number two, true believers have counted. Ito po, isang medyo ano. Kapag umasok ka or nanampalataya ka kay Jesus, the Bible says, a true believers have counted the cost and made the good end. Hindi naman pwede mo lang gagawin talaga pag nanampalataya. Gusto mo lang yung benefit. Jesus is saying, you are not worthy to be called my disciples. Why? He said to them, if anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself. Amen. Magkakaroon po talaga ng transformation. Magkakaroon po talaga ng pagbukag. And take his cross daily. Hindi ka po magpapasan ng cross daily. Cross means the burden yung mga gusto mo. I-give up mo. Yung mga desire pa, yung mga pleasurable sa buhay mo. I-give up mo para makasunod kay Christo. Cross, that's your cross kasi mabigat eh. Hindi mo, mahal ko eh. And for the best, for whoever desires to save his life, this is talking about this. For whoever desires to save his life, talking this life, this this this, this physical life, you will lose it. But whoever loses his life, physical life, for my sake, will save it for eternal. Amen. Kaya, pag disciple ka, pag believer ka, alam mo na talaga may sacrifices. You counted the cost. You counted the commitment. Sunday na naman. Maglalaba ako eh. But when you have the, the fruits, may tree na ba ako, parang hindi ka na mapakaling, hindi ka maka-attend. It's already your lifestyle to attend, to worship. Parang, hindi eh, naman tayo dito legalistic na ko. Seek you first, pag nagigil ako sa seek you first, the kingdom of God. Hindi, pabayang ako lang dito, bahala ka. Ha! We will tell you the truth. Ito, pamilya po, wala condemnation, but you have to be okay. Kasi, nung nga ng isang nasa, nasa Panginoon, ay may desire na, may gumugungan desire na. Amen. You wanted to worship, you wanted to attend, you, want, you, you are thirsty of the Word of God. Meron kang nararamdaman ng longing. Hindi, kung matigas pa yan, 
Aumento no Saúl Espírito. Amém. Mas em horas que eu Right? So, there's a commitment. There's a cost. Good works. Ito rin po. In good works, ang true believer, meron those who are truly saved, will bear fruit. As the Spirit bears that, yung kanina, yung nine. Again, such. Okay? But, also good works, sabi ng Ephesians 2, 8, 9, for by grace you have been saved. Okay? Gracia, regalo of salvation. Pero yung sunod na verse, sa verse 10, sabi niya, we were created, we are God's workmanship, designed long time before, before the foundations of the world, to do good works. Ang talagang destination ng isang believer, gagawa na ng good works. Ang mali, yung good works muna para masay. No. Good works follows after salvation. Amen. Hindi ko naman sinabi, huwag ka nang gumawa ng good works. Maganda yan. Pero if that is your basis for salvation, wrong. Because yours, you cannot save yourself by doing good. The only way to salvation is the grace of God, the gift of God. To Jesus. Believing in Jesus gives you salvation. Doing good works, you will be applauded, you will be rewarded, but that is not the access to salvation. Amen. Salvation is only coming from Jesus Christ. Free gift by believing Him. So, what, what about good works? Good works follows. Pakatapos nung nasa yun, may bunga talaga siya magbe-bear fruit ng good works. Sipin mo dati, dati-dati, pag ikaw ay naman, galit ka na, makikipag-away ka na. Sipin mo ba, may fruit ka na ngayon. Kapag ginawang ka na masama, hindi mo na ngayon tinatadyakan. Inaano mo na lang. Inakas out na lang. But, I know that you understand what I'm saying. Meron nang hindi mo nagagawa before. Bakit kaya nakukontrol ko lang sa rito? Tawarin ko na rin. Pag-pray ko na lang. Puro nang nakag-pray. Dati talagang hindi mo siya nakalta na. Nang hindi ka na na you have to go wrong, you have to hear your sign. Hear. Hear your sign. <laughs> so, merong fruits of good works ang talaga ng good. Can I extend? Okay lang ba? Yes. Mga alas 12. <laughs> Baka 15 minutes. Yes. Important din po kasi ito eh. Malapit na to, malapit na to. So, beloved, let us love one another for love. So, merong love for others. May mention ko na kanina. Merong deep throat ito. Dapat nagkaroon ito. Yung dating hate mo, hindi mo na siya ngayon hate. Gusto mo na siya ano, may compassion ka na. Okay? So, love for one another. Now, warning! Ano ba ang mga marks ng hindi believer? You wanna know? Amen. Yes, okay. Marks! How about, ang tawag ko nga, pretend believer. Or equals to unbeliever. Or not real believer. So, going through the motions. Ito yung, akala ko, okay. Okay ka na. Wearing the label Christian, but no guarantee of a change of heart. Hindi ko, I'm just preaching. Because I want to be sure. Hindi ito takutan. Pero, may nag-aaralan natin. Hindi na kita niyakan mo. Hindi na kita pakialaman ba lang. Hindi, hindi, hindi mo ito para... Para maintindihan niya natin, look. Sabi ko nga kanina, human observer, the true believer and pretender, look, identify. Hindi mo ito ma-identify because only God can see the heart. So, don't judge kasi hindi mo naman talaga alam. Pag nakita mo, isipin mo na lang kung anong isabi-sabi. Di ba ba? Because you don't have the right. You don't, it's not your business. Or ipag-free mo. Lord, mukhang hindi pa niya talaga naiintindihan yung kanyang tinanggap. Lord, work out. Yeah? You, you pray for this if you, if you see. If you something na mga ganitong issue. Now, look. Sa Isaiah 29, 13, even prophet Isaiah 800 years before Jesus came, he was already prophesied by prophet Isaiah. He said, therefore, the Lord said, so mga propeta nun, ginagamit ng Lord ang bibig nila para magpoclaim. So si Ayan sinasabi, pero si, si Lord daw ang nagsabi. The Lord said, In as much as these people draw near with their mouth, 
Ito yung sentiment ng Lord. Sabi ng sabi, Kristiyano ako, believer ako, they draw near with their mouths and honor me with their lips. Ang uso. I am a Christian. I am a believer. I know God. But have removed their hearts far from me. And their fear toward me is taught by the commandments of men. Takot sa Diyos kasi sabi ng pastor. O sabi ng sino ng leader. Takot na takot sa Diyos. Mabuti na lang. Okay lang sana kung holy fear. But fear of punishment. Fear of judgment. So, Prophet is saying, there are people who are for our saying only by their lips, but their hearts is not really there. Kaya kung nandito kayo ngayon at nakikisip niyo kung anong pukot kakainin niyo, nakikisip niyo yung puso niyo wala dito, stay. Mark 7.6 In a new, in a new covenant, in a new din ni Mark, the, he answered and said to them, Well, did Isaiah prophesy to you? Hypocrites! Sabi na ka, Hypocrites! <laughs> as, it is, as it is written, This people, wala dito, Honor speak with their lips, but their heart is far from me. <laughs> hindi ito totoo. Kasi hindi pwede muso lang. Dapat muso. Believe in the heart. What else? So, I can see here dapat may intimacy. Sa kasi sa puso eh. May intimacy ka dapat kayo. Amen. Kung wala pa man, gumawa ka na. Mag, uh, mag-seek ka na. Seek the face of the Lord. Amen. What else? Ito ang mabigat. There was... This verse in the Bible, if you will read, basahin niyo po, please read. And every one who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. But he who does the will of my Father in heaven, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who. Who? Who you? You who? I don't know. Get ya. Lawlessness. Who does lawlessness? Look. Possibly, pala. The promise ay kada. Partner, partner. Marunong na rin ang promise ay. You cast out the deliverance. Done many wonders, even signs and wonders, but even assured because sabi niya, may mga magsasabi talaga, Lord, Lord. Bible says you are also calling Jesus as Lord, but Jesus said, I never knew you. I never knew. masakit po yun. Bakit dahil akala mo saved ka, tapos I never knew you. Sabi ni Lord. So we have to be sure. We have to examine. Sabi niya na ang sunod dyan na nakalagay who are practicing lawlessness. Lawlessness, no, no law. Walang pakialam sa, sa word of God. Walang pakialam sa gusto ng Diyos. Ginagawa ko ng gusto. Kaya sabi ng Lord, Lord, we prophesy, Lord, we cast out demons, Lord, we perform signs and wonders. Lack of fruits. God or grave, sabi niya, hindi pwedeng mamunga ang grapes ng santon. If you're claiming that you are you belong to Jesus, that be, that means meron kang righteous nature. So dapat pag may righteous nature ka, ang bunga mo righteousness. Amen. Look, good fruit but a bad tree bears bad fruit. Halata. So, ano ang, ano ang ating basihan ngayon? Yung buhay-buhay ko lang may sinasabi din yan. Hindi mo na kailangan maging propeta niyan. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to know. Kasi makikita mo ang sa sasabi, I belong to God. I know Jesus. Pero yung buhay, medyo, mag-ingat tayo. Hanggang may buhay, may pag-asa. So, bear good fruit. Kaya sabi niya, cut down and throw me to the fire. Therefore, by their fruits, you will know them. So, sinasabi na ng Lord, hindi mo business, pero malalaman mo. It's not for you to judge, but I could give you a, a sign. You, you, you can know them by their fruits. Mm-hmm. Sorry po, 
Okay pa ba tayo? Amen. Okay, just, just a few more minutes. Matatapos na to. Those who turn away from Christ never really trusted. Meron kasing mga umaalis. Akala mo minsan saved. Pero ang sabi ng Bible, ito yung mga tao, they went out from us. Hindi po, I'm not pertaining to the membership of, co of, of congregation, no? May mga umalis na sa isang congregation na totoo namang believer. But this is, that means yung believing Christ. Okay? They went out from us, but they did not really belong to us, for they would, for they would, they would have remained. Huh? Or if they had belonged to us, they would have remained with us. But they're going to show that none of them belong to us. May mga anak talaga umaalis nagpo-follow away. And this one, look at this. Fall away. The term fall away. Ito po yung ibinigay sa aking verse na doon sa Bible school. Okay. Those who fall away, it is possible pala to hear the word. Nakarinig ka, nagustuhan mo, truth. And even agree. You agree with the word. When it's truth, without taking it to the heart. Yun ang problema. You did not believe in the heart. So, Eventually, a pretender will apostatize. Apostatize. He will fall away. Why? Because he will fall away from the faith he once professed if he does not repent. Ibig sabihin po, hindi siya nag-fall away because hindi siya saved before. Nag-fall away siya kasi hindi naman talaga siya totoong naniwala. So apostasy is not believer tapos umalis at ayaw nag-renounce na. No. Eh, hindi na po ba ito? Yeah. Kaya nag-fall away kasi hindi naman talaga totoong tumanggap. Yeah. Kaya wala, maraming nawawala, maraming hindi mo na. Because maybe they did not really receive Jesus. No. Those who apostatize are simply demonstrating that they are not true believers. And they never were. Yun ang ano, yun ang clue. Never silang naging believer. Kaya lang ang pastor, atas. Now, for it is simple, ito po yung ibinigay. Sabi niya, look, sister, he proceeds. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened, enlightened, not believe. And they have tasted the heavenly gifts, not believe. And have become partakers of the Holy Spirit and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the age to come if they fall away to renew them again to repentance since they crucify again with themselves the Son of God and put Him to an open chain. Hindi na pwedeng i-offer it to Jesus. So what is fall away? Kasi ito yung pinaka ano eh. What is fall away? So the fall away, the end result for those with such hard and hard. Ay, balik ka na to J-Lo. Ay, ano? Hindi mo binalik. Hindi mo nilipat. Okay po. Ako na lang. Ako na lang. Leave it. Leave it. Bago to. Hindi na kinig si... Okay. Apost... Apostasy. An apostate is someone who abandons his religious faith. Inalisan niya. So, apostates are people who made profession of faith in Jesus Christ but never genuinely hindi totoo receive Him as Savior. They were not real believers. Apostasy. Apostatize. Apostates will eventually be made known by their fruit. Look, look. Ang kaibangan ng reprobate, ang reprobate, ito naman yung ah, Thoroughly depraved, given over to evil until the conscience is seared. Matigas na. Ang sin kasi, continual in sin, magiging seared na at insensitive na ang heart mo, then you will become reprobate mind. Callous mind. Nag-uumpisa sa kasalanan. Kaya ayaw ng Lord, sin no more, sabi niya, kasi may tendency kang maging reprobate. Apostasy is that you will, you understand, you like it, you agree. And then, iniwanan mo kasi hindi mo naman talaga pinaniwalaan. Pero ang reprobate nang gagaling sa kasalanan, paulit-ulit na kasalanan, 
wala nang maramdaman na pagsisisi. That makes you reprobate mind. Continual sin leads to a reprobate mind. Hindi ka na tinatablan. And that is dangerous. Okay, now, last, last na to. Look at this. I will repeat this. The parable of the wheat and the tares. Kasi sa Matthew 13, ipinaniwanag itong apostasy. Look. Another parable he put forth to them, saying the kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field, but while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat, and wheat, and went. <laughs> <laughs> mapapansin hanggang sa end kasi magbubunga sila ang kaiba na. Look, ito yung wheat before it's truly fully ripe. Ito yung tears. Okay, another, look. But when the grain had sprouted and produced a crop, then the tears also appeared. So the servants of the owner came and said to him, Sir, sir, sir. Wait, wait, wait. Sir. Look, ang wheat nagbabaw down. Ang tears, diretso, proud. Ang boy. Magkakaibahan na sila ngayon ng itsura kasi pagdating ng time, gumaganan ang wheat, ang tears, diretso, matigas. Look, brownish ang fruit niya. Maitim. Maitim. Ang wit. Wit na minit. But you will know them by their fruits. Kaya nga, ang wit and tears, hindi lang siya, they are identical. But you will know them at the end because they will give fruits na magkaiba. Believer and unbeliever, you will see them by their fruit, you will know them. So, like the tears among the wheat, his true nature will be manifested. Oh, he said to them, anyway, God of tears. She falls with undetectable. Pero siya, makikita mo, tumatay among the ano. Okay? So now, as time went on, the wheats were seen for what they were. Why warn against apostasy? Kailangan po natin. Kasi itong apostasy, katabi mo minsan. Hindi kayo. Pusibling nasa church. Pusibling nag-ministry. Nag-discipleship. Bakit natin po kailangan po i-discuss? Because we want you so that you want to have a beauty head and believe really, really. So, warning against apostasy serve two primary purposes. Ito ang important to them. The biblical warnings against apostasy, therefore, the warnings are warnings of those who are under the umbrella of faith without ever having truly exercised faith. For if we sin, ito na naman po ibinigay sa akin doon, ito daw ay isang patunay na nawawala ang salvation. But this one, if we sin willfully, after we have received the knowledge of the truth, knowledge lang, na-receive po, hindi mo na doon binilig. There no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a certain fearful expectation of judgment. See, pag hindi ka talaga na nagpatayat, ito po ang kahihinatnag mo. Judgment and finally indignation which will devour the adversaries. Pareho kayo ng, ng destination ng demonyo. Fire. Condemnation. Kaya po, importante na sinishare natin to sa ating mga pamilya, sa ating mga kakilala. Not about religion. It's about salvation of your family. Amen. Because there's really a judgment. The, the, the necessary thing is to believe in Jesus because He is the one who paid. Okay? So, number one, they exhort everyone to be sure of their salvation. Dapat natin itong ina-exhort para sigurado tayo salvation. One's eternal destiny is not an insignificant matter. Hindi ito small time. This is big time. Now, you, you, you live life here with to the fullest, whatever you do. After life, where will you go? How many, how old do you want to be? 100? 120? Then what? 
you're going to die. This one is eternal. This life here is temporary. Life is eternal. So, examine, please. Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 13, 5. Pakibasa po. Examine yourselves as to whether you are in the faith. Test yourselves. Do you not know yourselves that Jesus Christ is in you? Unless indeed you are disqualified. Behold, the only one. Examine yourself. If you are in the faith, test yourselves. You have to be sure. Don't leave it. You uga di mo, test mo. Character. Ting 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 babago. Number two, we have to equip the church to identify apostates. How do you do it? Apostates. 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 They can be known by their rejection of Christ, acceptance of heresy and carnal nature. Carnal is physical. But there were also, look at this. Ito na po yung last na to. They are in the church. But there were also false prophets among the people, even as there will be false teachers among you. You will secretly bring, who will secretly bring in destructive heresies. Even denying the Lord who brought them and bring on themselves swift destruction and many will follow their destructive ways. Maraming nagtutunod na mali. False doctrines, false teachers, false prophets. And if you do not know the truth, you will be also in danger. By Covetus, they will exploit you with deceptive words. Magandang pakinggan. But is it based on the truth? Kaya huwag po kayo basta basta naniniwala. Paano ninyo saan po yung makikita sa Bible? Where can you find that? What verse? Because if it's not written, it's not the truth. It's good, but it's not right. Now, end of slide. Can you understand po that that is the necessity of this message? Because we don't want to live it. Okay ka na. Excited ka na. Pero tingnan niyo kung pala kung meron talagang nangyari conversion. Look into yourself, examine yourself, test yourself. If hindi ito nangyayari, then you have to repent and seek the Lord. Amen? Amen! Amen.